All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for 10 Little Roosters. Wait, no, that's not right. 11 Little Roosters. <laughs> 11 Little Roosters. Yeah, The Most Dangerous Game, Episode 4. Yeah. Comrade Khadam has gotten his orders from oh, Comrade Vladimir Putin. Or Vlad. Or Vlad for short. Yes. Yeah. That was a horrible <laughs> Russian accent, but it was wonderful to do. Uh, so uh, we're expecting a little bit of... Uh, uh, hilarity this episode, but also yes. maybe some kind of competitive Russian uh, yes. man strength. I don't know what what kind of game are we expecting here. I I, mm. I the wrestle a, a bear or something like. Yeah, that. I mean I know, but, but he doesn't, so I have oh, to right. pretend like I don't know yeah. here. <laughs> oh, so uh, the the um, people that I think it is so far is either the Americans, right? Um, not uh, Mr. Bernardo Bernadici. Um, because of, you know, last right. episode. Or, uh... Christoph Weiss? Christoph Weiss, yes. Yes. One of those two is who I think it is. Gotcha. For the killer. Right. And then... And then who has for who's dying this episode, you just kind of have no idea. I, I'm, I, I'm not sure. All right, cool. Let's just get right into it and find out. Yeah, good day, mate. One large pizza, please. <laughs> Cheese and pepperoni and, uh... Yes. Bacon, I guess. This is automatically oh, a great episode bacon. just by starting with them. Can we please go I'm kill somebody, phone. please? I'm on the bloody phone! <laughs> Christ, woman. What do you mean I don't sound Australian? You don't sound Australian. You, <laughs> would, you wouldn't know an Australian if it if it bit you with a Vegemite and you... Listen, just bring <laughs> me the bloody pizza by <laughs> 5 o'clock Australia time. <laughs> Which part of Australia? Right, I know. That, that was amazing. I, I just, I love that scene. What's funny is there were like three clues related to finding the the hints Already? in that like in that scene basically wow oh, oh my gosh yes. over here oh my gosh you always were the master of disguise <laughs> why you call me here Moose? wow i needed someone with a sharper nose someone who if i recall correctly could identify the blend of tim horton's coffee on a man's breath from a kilometer away i'm hoping he can help smell out our possible evil masterminds. <laughs> I am Khadam the There's something I must tell you. Tomorrow, I'm participating in the National Russian Game. What? It's what Vlad wants. I am to challenge weakling Rooster, who has no chance of beating Russia. But that game is to the death. We've already lost three agencies. And if you kill another, you're just going to be doing the killer's bidding. <laughs> Relax. I will not kill other Rooster. I will take match right to the end. Just long enough for you to flush out bad guy and crowd. How do you know he'll be there? Because he's been watching us, but I've been watching him watch us. <laughs> so that's why you agree to me. Because you need my help. It's not the only reason. Oh my god. Hey, Gordon. I don't go by that name anymore. But it feels right. Like French fries smothered in gravy and cheese curds. <laughs> what if your plan goes wrong? Let's just run away together into the Canadian wilderness. It's not too late. You could still be the man I knew. The man I loved. Oh my gosh. It's not that simple, my little blonde babushka. Look at yourself! Look what you've become! <laughs> you used to chop down trees and now you are one. <laughs> You've become the very thing you once lumbered. Oh, dear Moose, I'm... I'm... You're... sorry? <laughs> Yet! Don't you understand? This is why I left. A man can only be so apologetic. Russians regret nothing. The motherland is strong. Canada will only keep you down. Well, good thing I don't work for Canada anymore. Come with me to match. Help me find bad guy and squash him. <laughs> And get this tested for blood. It smells like someone got a paper cut. Be careful, eh? I will. Hey. Oh, hey, for your eyes only. Oh, 
Oh, are you thirsty, big fella? <laughs> oh no, I dropped my gun. Oh dear. <laughs> Bullshit! I know, right? You disgusting pigs. They didn't even notice my ass! Wait, what? You get all the attention around here! Well, you think I want the attention? You think I like that this is my standard uniform and that I have to complete my missions using sex appeal rather than intelligence? No. Okay, good. But I want those things! <laughs> you want to be objectified? Obviously! <laughs> I want to be treated like a piece of meat! You're insane. I am for gender equality among super spies. When it benefits my low self-esteem and hot body. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I can't do this. Not today, Gibson. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and go. Oh, great. Walk away. Keep all the sexy slappy cat fights to yourself. Why don't you people want to bang me? Come on! <laughs> Thanks for banging me. <laughs> Sometimes you have to stack the bear to show power. I feel like that could have had a double meaning. Yep. Almost as if you had an ulterior motive. What was that? Just uh, for excitement. Like I am whole new lover. Huh. A mystery. Huh. And what's that? For accuracy. Romantic mist. Huh. That's top. Hey, moron, that's not mist. That's knockout gas. God. Sweet dreams, my competitor. Gavin! 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 Gavin's gonna face him in the yep, game. Yep, yep. This is gonna be great. <clears throat> Good morning, Agent Gavin. I am afraid, despite our tender lovemaking, <laughs> I must make an example of you. <laughs> For all the At world. least it was tender. Yeah. Do you expect me to talk? <laughs> no, Agent Gavin. I expect you to play. Did you get the reference? We will I expect now you to die. National Russian James game Bond of Tetris. <laughs> Instead of those who are about to die, salute you, great Alexei Pajitnov. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what the game was? Russia invented Tetris. Tetris. Yeah. How do you not know this? He invents, but I create great death game. Got idea from American TV show Immersion. You <laughs> seen the episode with the NBA Jam? Okay, bets are closing. Only two choices. Other Russian games? More of a gamble. <laughs> Three, two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are you having trouble, Agent Gavin? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get crushed, little Gavin man. Yes! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Somehow I can see Mikey, Gavin really sucking help. in Tetris. Now you want my Tetris death box. Just help me. Oh, oh, hang on. Let me. I'll, I'll look you up a cheat code. God, move so much faster with a mouse. All right, here it is. Two, then little F E G A, followed by a big Q R X L B M. You noticed that those were in different headphones each time. I mean Z. Yeah. I didn't say Z. Don't, don't tell the queen. What the? Oh, Agent Gavin, you're putting up quite the fight. Unfortunately, the odds are not in your favor. Adam is their best player, but he's got a crucial flaw. He always waits for the long piece. Now I need the <laughs> long piece too. <laughs> Classic Tetris. Yeah, yeah. Mistake. Call it, Gordon! I see him! Not until he's apprehended him! Please! I can't lose you! I won't lose! I only need long piece! Damn it, Gordon! You can spend your whole life waiting for the long piece! When really, the long piece is in front of you all along. Oh, Moose. Right in front of you all along. Oh, snap! I'm sorry!
I did it, Moose. Yeah. Slot me a five over here. Bitch. Now I look like a fool. I didn't think they were going to do that, because I, I thought they'd just have it be the person that he goes up against. Right. Afternoon, Agent Moose. Ryan? I ran a blood test on that mm. false mission order you sent me. Turns out you were right. I found a small amount of blood on the corner. Blood laced with sauerkraut and warm beer. German blood. And if you know the Germans are involved, they may not be far behind you. What are you saying? I'm saying I have intel that points in one direction. That the Germans will be the next to kill. <laughs> question is, which German? Also, who are they going to kill? And... No, that's it. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. so, yeah, I really thought they would have uh, Adam succeed in killing the other person. That way it would still be a mystery, you know, instead of mm -hmm. it being like, okay, the person that is going to have something happening next episode is going to be the one that dies. Um... So, with the clue, they said it was Germans that were going to be killed next, or that were killing people? That were going to kill next. Okay, gotcha. Like, they could be given a false order to kill someone, or they gotcha. are the uh, assassin, gotcha. okay. or but they're, you know, what have you. Now, uh, but that's, uh, what's-his-face with the, the amnesiac assassin is the German one, right? No, no, Sex von Schachel. Oh, that's why I gotcha. said which German the the four. Oh right, yeah, yeah. No, uh, Christoph Weiss is from uh, Sweden, Sweden or Norway. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> um, okay, so he could still totally be the assassin. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't think it was them anyways because uh, what was it? They did something in one of the previous episodes that just seems like they couldn't be it. Something that just threw you for yeah. Uh, now, one thing that's interesting to note here, uh huh, we have not seen anything of uh, Christoph Weiss as far as like just for a while. Yeah, just for a while. And in fact, the last the last thing we saw was him like holding the knife very close to uh, the razor blade. Yeah, the razor against, blade. Yeah, Marquis Marquis. Marquis Marquis. Yes. Yeah. Um. So he's he's looking pretty pretty uh pretty guilty. Gotcha. Right now, a bit over the Americans, which I am a little maybe a little bit disappointed because. I think sure. the Americans would be hilarious if they were the killers. Um, okay, now I'm not going to give them any big hints, guys, but just because you're not actually taking this like really hard to try and investigate uh -huh. who it is, I will let you know that there have been some some hints that have been dropped that are of the, not the pattern variety, but of the, ah, that's similar to how it was in last episode or similar to how it was in... Oh, episode. gotcha. Like, it's not consistent. Uh -huh. It's not consistent. <clears throat> but there's something that's been happening in an aesthetic way also that's right. uh, pretty consistent. Well, well, so, okay, so here's the thing. <clears throat> whenever whenever, uh, whenever you're trying to figure something out, especially in one of these whodunit things, mm -hmm. one of the things you want to do is whenever you think you have it, to then say, okay, but what if I'm totally wrong? Right. Right? Now... Um, in the first one, if I had done that, I would have been able to figure out it was Barbara, because Barbara was the one that I was always like, nope, 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 no way, right? Mm -hmm. But it was actually really obvious if you looked at the, at the clues. Yep. Um, with this, the one that currently I'm like, no way, no way, no way, is the Australians. Mm -hmm. Now, if they wanted to go for one of the twists where it's like, oh yeah, psych, these people that you've been seeing doing all this stuff, none of which seems shady, um, they're actually the killers. Because since... Now, but the, but the only thing that combats that is that there was the shady person at the games. But apart from that, it could totally be them simply because it's other people doing the killing. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a way to give them a lot of screen time, but also have them be removed from things so that they're... Uh, the people that do the killing are obviously right. not the killers, right? Or, or not obviously, but probably not the killers. Okay. So it's an excuse to have them not be doing any of the killing... But not be suspect. Interesting. Um, again, I don't think it's them. I hope mm -hmm. it's not them because they are too awesome. But um, <laughs> they, they, they're they're they are my absolute favorite. Um, you hope that they like survive all the way to the end, and make oh, yeah. camping a oh, legitimate yeah. strategy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they, like that that whole thing of like oh, yeah. bite you right in the Vegemite or something. I was just like, oh, that's, that's just 
I, I, that was, oh, that man. was fantastic. I love how like something like that can be super funny for you and super cringy for someone else because that's that's where humor kind of runs the line of yes. is being really cringy or mm-hmm. just really freaking ridiculous. Uh, one's one's person's cheese is another man's gold. Yeah. So you have uh, a, a really goofy, funny little love story parody with the. Yes. Uh, the ex-Canadian turned into a uh, Russian. Yes, yes. Because he could only be so apologetic. Uh, so yeah. apologetic. But at yeah. the end, yeah. I'm sorry. And he, he yeah. said it in his... Uh, yeah, in his Canadian in his way. his Canadian way, yep. Yep, uh, that, that was hilarious. Um, but yes, the killer was present. Right. Or the person in the black hood or whatever. It's just a... It, like, that could be a red herring, but I don't think they're going to do that. No, but that um. means that... Uh, at the very least, that this was something the murderer either wanted to happen or was at the very least observing. But did it look like right. they did anything, the murderer? No. Or they just kind of watched it? Right. It just looked like they watched it. Like Interesting. Um, if anything, like you could say that the Tetris thing of like what blocks they were getting was maybe rigged or something like that. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Um, it was so hilarious. Gavin used the not shrink ray or the shrink ray to... Uh, Right. Get the long block at that uh right that um, one specific time. I thought it was hilarious how there were so many times when Gavin would, would have like the the two by three you know turn one and he'd be like what do I do and there's like a two spot that he could put it in right there <laughs> and he just sort of like plops it like in a, in a just terrible well remember terrible his his his, uh, his psychoanalysis he's like he failed every single yes. one so right. like he's an idiot like yeah. It's just which, a, is, which is both just their, a vigorous sex fiend. Yes, which which is like both their way of like slamming Gavin again, but also like, you know, <laughs> making fun of like James Bond. Make, well, making fun of James Bond, but also like throwing them a bone because they're making him have a person that's just too sexually attractive. He has to sleep with literally everybody because no one can resist him. But at the same time, he's a freaking idiot, you know. Right. Okay, so we had also Blaine wanting to be objectified by the agents for sex appeal, but uh, yeah, only Ashley's uh, character was yeah, getting that was, uh, that was leery, leered at by yeah. the other agents. Yep. <laughs> uh, that was, that was hey, awesome. maybe maybe Gavin will bang him, you know? <laughs> no, no, that'll be the joke. Not even Gavin will bang him. Oh, that'd be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is really fun, guys. Until next RT Wednesday, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.